Oh my god, so I got this. <laughs> wow. I'm super excited right now. So it's time to let me start planning how I'm gonna travel. I have just about a month. I was given a month visa, so yeah. Holiday loading. I have to go and relax and be taken care of, guys. Relax and be taken care of. Oh my god. So it's my first vlog in 2024. And guys, I'm traveling. I am going to be traveling. Yeah. So my visa finally came out and I'm going to travel. I've not traveled for a while. Yeah, for those who are joining my channel for the first time, I've been in Lagos. I'm based in Ghana, but I've been in Lagos. I came to Lagos because I needed to take care of myself. And since I've been in Lagos, probably because I'm around family and family basically, because I can't say I have friends in Lagos, you know, I've been enjoying my stay until the current electricity situation, until the heat in Lagos started getting me upset. Oh my god, it's really hot. So I was legit enjoying my stay in Lagos. The weather was cool. December there was a matan. There was a matan in January into February and all of a sudden there was this heat. <laughs> oh there is this heat that came from nowhere. What now made it worse is that electricity was nowhere to be found. I don't know every time they say national grid collapsed, this one collapsed. I would say the electricity has been fair for some time, it was fair, but since last week, oh my god, I felt like running away. Yeah, I installed inverter when I came into Lagos. Let me sit up. So yeah, I installed inverter when I came, you know, so that was actually, once there's no power, probably in a day, we can have power for up to 20 hours, yes. Then the remaining two hours, or let's say three hours, your inverter carries the remaining. But for a week now, in 24 hours, I don't think we have light for up to 30 minutes. Like my inverter runs down, the solar charges because I did inverter and solar. Now I need to even put more panels right now because I don't even understand what is going on. And this electricity decided to happen this period that it's decided to happen this period that there is no light assuming okay, there was heat out there and this light is a different thing and head is it's almost everywhere i don't know what is going on with the electricity in nigeria no wonder they were using it to abuse on it abuse us in afcon I, during the afcon period where there was light now all of a sudden maybe after i don't even know whether it's a national grid thing or whatever maybe somebody can tell me what is really really going on with the electricity right now because come on it is bad i felt at some point i feel like running away because I could bait morning, afternoon, today I bit it twice and I am still going to bait this night if I go to sleep, you know, though the inverter is going to carry me, no doubt, I have rechargeable fans, not not one fan, I have fans, I have inverter, I have solar, this generator, but even at that, you know, these things can carry AC, so when you don't have that AC effect, it's not the same, like, it is not the same. Now, I knew this is Lagos. When I was living in Port Harcourt, I didn't really have this electricity issue because there was always light. If it's known, you know, there was always light. But right now, I'm missing Ghana for this. Even in Ghana, there's always a lot of heat. And the electricity tariff in Ghana will make you not even put on your AC that much. You'll be using fan, but trust me, even on that fan, I used to sweat though. But this one, at least, yes, I have two fans on right now in my room. Hmm. Two two right now but it's not the same i won't even lie but outside this i think i've been very fine here you know i enjoy staying in this my room i love this my room so much so if i'm gonna be going to ghana i'm gonna miss my room yeah my room is one of the things i'm gonna miss but i'm gonna be traveling because i have a trip to plan i'm already packing my things yeah tomorrow morning i'm off I have a trip. I'm going to Accra from Accra. Boom! I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to yet, but you can actually guess where I'm going to. 
so but this is my first vlog for 2024 i've not vlogged at all i've been posting videos doing other things other things were distracting me but vlogging this is my first so guys yeah guys i'm ready to go out and yeah yeah like i said i have just a day today is already one day and i'm leaving lagos tomorrow tuesday and i'm traveling tuesday too so what do you think oh, don't think there's no light <laughs> it's just that my inverter isn't on you can see that that's light like there's light there's light because i have to use the inverter but right now lagos is not smiling i'm gonna miss my lagos room i'm gonna miss my room my room here is actually bigger than what i have in accra so if i'm to compare i actually prefer being in lagos than being in accra because of my room you know i have so many things i have here that i'm not i'm not actually using them i have a bigger bed here i made a bigger bed here and what again so many other things actually you know that's where they say no place like home i don't agree less yeah i don't agree less no place like home honestly so it's time to go out let's go and see what is going on out there i don't like driving in lagos and it's a monday morning i wonder what the road is going to be like but let's just see what we have yeah in lagos monday morning it's always very stressful in lagos sometimes i just prefer to go with public transport because lagos is well all right so guys um yeah i'm going out right now because i have a thing or two to do because i'm traveling and yeah i just wanted to just cover up my ends so, uh because i have just a few hours left to spend in lagos and i'm coming back to accra in accra i'm spending just few hours in accra and boom i'm out 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 yeah so <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh so guys so it's still day i'm traveling and i'm just relaxing my head a bit because it's just about um 30 a.m in the morning and this is me normally sometimes i just wake up so early and i'm not doing anything like and what am i i'm not doing anything and i just want myself just doing chores in the house so because i'm traveling today and trying to like keep everywhere clean my kids are also sleeping um here trying to think about my because i have to be out of this house by 5 a.m or 4 45 a.m yeah so. oh nice i have all my things but like i said i've arranged or i just packed them my box is already big guys oh my god oh my god i don't even know I plan not to i plan traveling very light but as it is right now i have a lot of things by the time i was done packing my box looks so big right now so so big so don't worry i'll show you my box yet but let me just i don't even know if i should wash some of my things so yeah now i'm not going to be around to you know the data is finally resting it's charging actually that inverter has worked a lot it has worked a lot let me try and wash There's so many things i'm cleaning the kitchen i have so many things in my fridge freezer nice oh <sighs> Let me see if I can watch. Oh, look at so many clothes these children have already packed for me to 
clear. To clear. Let me show you. Let me see if I can quickly wash them. The uniform. Those ones are white, so I don't just want to quickly put them up in the washing machine. So while that is washing, probably I'll just go beat at once. I don't wash whites together with so I'm putting the whites separately and let me send this into the washing machine. My kitchen is a bit scattered, guys. Don't even ask me why it's scattered, but yeah, I want to quickly wash. So I that is washing. <sighs> Let me show you what my box looks like. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm not revealing where I'm traveling to yet. I'm not gonna reveal that yet. I am not revealing that yet. You are gonna try and find out where I'm traveling to. Now, let me show you how scattered my box is. But I have to start arranging it like this morning. Let me show you. Let's look at this. Carry on luggage is still very scattered. My main box is still very scattered. And guys, I don't know. Don't know where to start from. <clears throat> so it's time to leave. This is almost let's say 4 45. You can look at that. 4 45. Yeah, it's actually turned the other way around, but it's 4 45 and I need to leave because I have a 7 a.m. flight. Now, let me give you my last experience. I missed my flight because I had flat tire. Yes, the taxi that came to pick me had flat tire on the way and I forgot. Like, I did not check in online. As I speak to you, I've not left the house yet, but I've already checked in and I'm using Ibon Air this time. I wanted to use that um, ticket and come on, the price they were calling for me to use the ticket that i didn't use in september and now i'm traveling i wanted to use the same ticket and they told me i'm going to pay two hundred and sixty seven thousand two twenty like naira that's what i'm going to pay i'm like are you for real i'm paying that time when i traveled i paid about two hundred and eighteen thousand if i'm not mistaken i missed my flight like few seconds like they just um closed boarding i saw the officers actually leaving I was shouting, I was calling them. They didn't answer me. They left me alone that I should use the night flight. I said, nope, I can't sit down in this airport till 9 p.m. And guys, I don't know why I'm sweating. Um, I said I wasn't going to sit down in the airport till 9 p.m. And boom, I had to use African World. African World charged me 308,000 Naira that same money because they were living by nine ten so so i had to use their own so now i want to use the same airline i want to use the same ticket right now and fps is telling me i'm going to pay two hundred and sixty seven thousand naira. i said come on come on i said okay refund my ticket so refund my money they told me it's a non-refundable ticket i was like come on so i had to book another one i booked with ebon and Yvonne is charging me. Everything all together was 219,000. Just 45 minutes journey, guys. Like, these guys are, they are eating us raw. So, I think I need to start moving. Right? So, I'm driving myself. I'm not using any taxi because I don't want any stress. Not like, you know, anything can actually happen to cars, but mm -hmm. then they are going to bring the car back home. But I have to drive myself to the airport. <sighs> So I checked Google Map, it's showing me 45 minutes. I've already checked in, like I will never in my life make that kind of mistake again. Not to check in online. I won't make that mistake anymore. No way I make that kind of mistake. So I'm ready to leave. 
Yeah, me and my black, my black top as usual. So I'm ready to leave me and my black top as usual. So yeah, my ring. I almost forgot my wedding ring, but thank God I opened this part of my my whatever I doing. So I'm ready to leave. Even my arm luggage feels so big in my arm. I'm ready. Sweating so much. Sweating so much. But I'm ready to go. Just doing my final checks. My kids are actually still sleeping. So they're gonna wake up and you're not gonna see me anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm good to go. Yeah, so.